Hi, I'm Christian Catalan. I'm the executive chef here at Ben Top General Hospital. And today I'll be making some healthy Super Bowl recipes. I have jackfruit, pulled pork sliders. I also have jackfruit, carnitas tacos. So let's get started. This is basically the uh, jackfruit that I'm using. It's the fresh green one in brine. Uh, what you want to do is you want to just rinse out the uh, jackfruit. Uh, just make sure you get that briny flavor off. And this is basically what the jackfruit looks like in the can. Sometimes they're slices, sometimes they're segments. But uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, break it up. And basically make it look like pulled pork. So you can just do it by hand, you can do it with your knife. I actually have some started. Um, so with a hot pan, I already drizzled it with a little bit of oil. You want to just go ahead and add that to your pan. Make sure you get all of it in there. And then to that, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, my seasonings. I always like to measure everything. So I have two teaspoons of brown sugar, the same amount of uh, garlic powder. I got a little salt, same teaspoon, some pepper. I got paprika, and my favorite is chili powder. I kind of like, you know, a little spicier food, but if you want to add a little less, you know, that's fine. And then we also have uh, some barbecue sauce. I really don't have a favorite brand. This is just a, a nice hickory flavor. And um, so you just want to give that a quick saute. So you just want to mix it up. Uh, just make sure you incorporate all of the seasonings into it. And then once it gets nice and hot, you know, you'll be able to see it steam. That's when you want to add barbecue sauce. You know, it's just to your liking. I basically added just enough to bind all the ingredients together. While that's cooking, I actually have some cabbage mix. You want to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this, just right in here. All it is is just um, just green cabbage and carrots. I just wanted to keep it simple, but you can add, um, you know, your your red onions, your or, or your red cabbage. Um, you can really just do anything you want. If you have your, your own special recipe that you want to use, you can do that. And then you want to add a little bit of uh, like rice wine vinegar or, or apple cider vinegar if you want and uh, maybe some lime juice, uh, some sugar for, you know, it's just to counterbalance that uh, vinegar um, tartness. And that's it. And then this is your, your basic slaw mix. So let's put that to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and start building our sliders now. Alrighty, so I got little slider buns here. Uh, you just want to be very careful when you're uh, slicing them. I've I've been doing this for a while, so you know it's it's almost like I'm immune to being cut. But you know you sh you can always be uh, a little bit more careful. Alrighty, so you just want to open them up a little bit, and then I already have the uh, the mix here, the cabbage mix. So you just want to put a good amount in the bottom. You don't want to get a lot of this on there because it'll give it uh, a different texture, it'll give it a nice little crunch. So I have the jackfruit there. You can add as much as you like. So you see, once you build it, it actually starts resembling meat, you know, and then the color of it, um, even the flavor of it, the way it smells. It's amazing and it, it, it just looks a lot like pulled pork. All right, so for the next recipe, I have jackfruit carnitas. So what I did is I went in and I grabbed this same uh, jackfruit and I grabbed my knife and I kind of just cubed it up, just some bite-sized pieces. Basically what this will do is it'll mimic the nice pork chunks that are gonna be in your taco. So you want to just give that a quick stir and I'm going uh, to go ahead and add these uh, seasonings. 
And then this is uh, something a little new. This is nutritional yeast. Not only does it give uh, food a little bit more of that golden brown color, it also gives it kind of like a cheesier flavor, like Parmesan, like aged Parmesan. It's, it's pretty good. A teaspoon of that nutritional yeast. A teaspoon of oregano. A teaspoon of the cumin. Black pepper to taste, salt to taste, and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. For the smokiness, I want to add um, about a teaspoon of the, let's do two teaspoons. Uh, that's the uh, smoke, uh, liquid smoke. And then this is a teaspoon of uh, soy sauce. And then let's go ahead and just add all of that sherry. I want the sherry to just really come forward in that. So that was about two tablespoons of sherry. Alrighty. So I'm getting this uh, Granita is just nice and hot. It's, it's been there for about three minutes. Uh, you want to mince uh, some jalapenos, onions, some cilantro, a little tomato. Uh, basically, you just want to add a little pico to it. I mean, that, that's what pico is. So I want to just give it like two nice handfuls of it. And I want to reserve some uh, if you want to put some on the tacos. You want to add a little bit of lime juice. And the reason why you want to add lime juice is because in a lot of the um, Spanish style, Hispanic uh, cooking, and especially Mexican cuisine, you add lime juice or lemon juice to bring out the, the flavors and make it, you know, fresh tasting. And also want to add some uh, orange. Uh, orange juice and also pineapple juice are uh, two of the favorite juices for pork dishes in Mexican cuisine. Um, and that just gives it just another element of, uh, of flavor. From this point, you just want to bring up the heat and just let it cook for, I would say like another five or six minutes. Uh, you don't want to move it around too much. You want it to caramelize in the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and um, start plating the uh, tacos. And what I did is um, I just had heated uh, my tortillas up. Um, I got a little char uh, on there because I, I heated them right onto the uh, fire there. Um, it's just the way I like to do it, just to give another element. So you want to just scoop some of this up. It's a little easier if you get at least you know two or three tortillas in your hand. It's just easier to to grasp once it's filled. There you go. So remember the uh, pico that I told you all to save? You just want to add a little pico in there. Or if you just want the cilantro flavor, you can just chop up some fresh cilantro. So there you have it. So we have the carnitas tacos made with jackfruit and the pulled pork sliders made with jackfruit. I'm my executive chef, Kirsten Catalan, and I hope you enjoyed the recipes that I brought you today.